Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another uh, tri curve. And this is really fun to play with. I got to figure out how to do this. And if I do, I'll uh, let you know. But here's a completely different one. And my uh, mathematical person last night commented in an email that he wasn't a big fan of what I did with the three point curve to make this first loop. And in the instructions of the PDF that I'll leave a link to, it says you could actually use an ellipse and then change it up. Well, he didn't, he's not talking about Corel, but just change it right here to like a 180 degree. Now you got a perfect half circle. Or you could change it to, you know, 120 degree. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do both of them. I'm gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard. Now let's move that over and we'll change this one to 120 degrees. Now you can do different things, uh, normally like 60, 90 degree turns. So we'll do this one, we'll hit the plus key on the keyboard. We'll double click on it, move it to here, and we'll rotate this a negative 60 degrees. That's not what we want. Maybe do this one 60 degrees. And then take this one and move the rot hit the plus key on the keyboard, move your rotation to here, and make this one a negative 30. And now you got a completely different shape, but it's gonna be symmetrical and usable. And so let's do both of them. Let's do the 120 one, hit the plus key on the keyboard, move this to here, rotate this a negative 30 degrees, take this one, make a plus key, move the rotation to the end of that, and rotate it 60 degrees. So now you've got two different total lengths or total objects just by how long they were. And every one of these will seat inside of itself, or should, if I did it correctly, so let's just get rid of some of this stuff. And let's, I always like doing it where I can actually see it. And let's uh, see how we're gonna rotate this guy. I'm gonna think we're gonna rotate it from here. And let's make a duplicate. I never know what to call the angle, so I'm gonna do a test and see how far that is. And it's gotta be something divisible by uh, 360, so it's going to be 30, and that fit right there. So Control D, Control D, all the way, and I'm a little bit off on somehow. Sometimes inside of Corel, or if it's, you know, uh, it's almost easier to start over. Check your rotation point, and then just go 120. Sometimes if you just happen to hit something on the keyboard, so I'm off somehow. That's a little irritating. I'm pretty good till the last. Well, there it is right there. I'm not rotating perfect. So let's let's start over. Take that one out. Let me zoom in this time. Let's hit the plus key on the keyboard. Move the center rotation. Let's zoom in and see if it is. And it looks like. Now, so let's just rotate it. 30 degrees. Of course, it's gonna go backwards. So, because, tell you what, let's start with this one. I'm sorry if I got you confused right now. So we need to go plus sign 60 degrees. I didn't mean to put a plus up there. Okay, plus. 90 degrees, I didn't, you know, I started using the plus key and sometimes it seemed like it doesn't work. <sighs> it worked till the last one. So plus, um, well, that'd be 30 degrees. There, well, control D, go back to zero. And let's see how close we are. They were perfect. So we got that shape, and now we'll do this one. 
And, you know, there's several ways you could look at this. Let's hit the, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start for the video, I'm gonna start using the Control D. It seems like it works better. And let's move the rotation there. I don't know if this is gonna be 30 degrees or not, but you could test it. And we're at 30.64. So let's hit Control D. Make sure our rotation is on that center and rotate it 30 degrees. I mean, look at that. A total, just by, we did the exact same thing, but one of them used a 180 degree line and one of them we used a 120 degree line. That can be very useful. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.